In my Tetris Attack video, I mentioned the phenomenon that is the Puzzle League series, and how it grew from a strange little game on the SNES that apparently needed some help in Yoshi's Island art, to a cult classic released and celebrated in several forms. The second entry in the Arcado series, Swap, takes its inspiration from these Puzzle League games, but throws in a number of new and interesting elements. The first and most noticeable is the cursor. Wait, I thought this was Puzzle League. There's supposed to be two boxes, right? So you can swap them? Hence the name Swap? Calm down, the mechanics there, it's just a little more freeform. You're essentially doing the same thing, switching two adjacent panels in attempts to connect four of a kind. Not three, need to make it a little tougher after all. However, this time the swapping can take place in any direction. Except upward into open space, mind you. Gravity still exists. The controls are simple and elegant for the task. The left stick moves the cursor, the right stick swaps in whichever direction it's tilted. So why for are you swapping at all? Well, it turns out this king cat had one too many milks on the beach, that lush, so he's trying to get home. The castle mode has you lead him on his path by clearing blocks, with each putting him one step closer to his own bed and a couple ibuprofen. Combos, simultaneous clears, and other bonuses serve to quicken his pace, and the base of the blocks coming from the bottom of the screen. Like in Puzzle League, if you're doing just too well, you can speed up the next line of blocks by hitting any bumper or trigger button. Littering the field, though, are treasures, because what's a king without treasure? These are non-reactive in their own right, but disappear and add to your score when they're adjacent to a live reaction. It adds a new wrinkle to the gameplay, certainly, but can be frustrating when you need to clear blocks in a hurry, but all you can see in one area of a board are rings, treasure boxes, and diamonds. It's not always good to be king. In addition to the Castle Quest, now there's a game I need to review one of these days, there's an arcade mode which kicks you off at one of three difficulty settings, though I'm warning you, hard means hard. You start at speed 7, all items are in effect, and purple blocks are added to increase the base difficulty. If you want to slowly ramp it up though, you can start with the easy mode and gradually work up to the higher difficulty. It's not Puzzle League, but it's really close. If you're a fan of the classic gameplay, it's worth giving Swap a try, though it's a bit of a paradigm shift being able to flip up and down. For those unfamiliar with the Puzzle League experience, consider this your $3 induction. Much easier than tracking down a copy of Tetris Attack, I assure you. <laughs> 